what is the experience of regenerating a fox from a human? It's not right, it should be regenerating a fox spirit. This is probably the story of the little fox who originally intended to soar to the sky with the help of his parents and the wealth of his family. Later, in order to survive, he worked diligently to prepare for the exam. The jade-faced fox in this article is not weak, with mythological elements such as Journey to the West and the Legend of the White Snake. It mainly consists of a trilogy of life preservation, preparation, work, and play. P.S. No CP, mythological story, after all, immortals falling in love violates the heavens. Chapter 1 Surprise I am actually a troublesome jade-faced fox. You are listening at NovelFull.audio What's not good about being a happy little fox? Especially reliable parents, with a wealthy family and an only child. In the words of the previous life, she is not only the wealthy second generation but also the only heir. So, as she had just overcome the transformation of thunder and lightning, she was still lying on the stone in front of her cave, sunbathing and happily licking her hair. The sunshine was too warm, making her drowsy. At this moment, she felt a pair of soft hands gently caressing her head, then sliding down to her neck. The whole fox was lifted up like this, and she woke up in shock, widened its eyes. Feeling the release of her hands, she quickly transformed into a full body, and a chubby three-headed female doll sat on the ground. The female doll was wearing a white dress with two white fluffy balls on her head. Her eyes were watery, and her already big eyes widened due to anger. She pouted her rosy little mouth. Mom, am I your own daughter? You keep scaring me, scaring me at any rate. What's good for you? The girl pouted. I saw a young woman wearing a bright red dress with dark floral patterns embroidered on it. She wore two red jade hairpins on her head and a pair of white jade bracelets on her hands. Her appearance was enchanting and beautiful, resembling a flamboyant peony flower. Little fox cub, this is your attitude when talking to your mother. Even if someone else's cub doesn't look like a teenager of 15 or 16 years old, it's at least 11 or 12 years old, just you, 5 or 6 years old. It's embarrassing for your father to mention you when he goes out, said the woman, looking up and down at the girl. You'll say my dad despises me, but it's not you yet. What's wrong with me now? I'll grow up and be even more beautiful than you, humph. The girl stomped her feet angrily and the ball on her head shook as well. Ah, uh, you. Before the woman could finish speaking, a man with a hint of bookishness walked out of the cave and touched the girl's head. He held her in his arms with one hand, wrapped his arms around the woman's waist with the other, and shook his head with a smile. You two women, you're just against your enemies. If you don't see each other for a while, you'll think. If you see each other, you'll argue. The man said as he patted the woman on the back, then took her hand and returned to the cave. The maidservants greeted their master as he entered. After the three of them sat down, a yellow cloth made with cat ears exposed on her head took out a bowing stick and paid her respects, stating that it was sent by a snake demon. She wanted to settle on the mountain in the territory of the fox king and would come to pay her respects tomorrow. The man nodded and ordered to prepare some tea and dim sum for guests tomorrow. On the second day, as soon as the hour arrived, I saw a man in green coming to knock on the door. Two maidservants came to greet and led the way to the main hall, only to see a family of three sitting on the throne. The little demon Zhu Qing has met the long-lived fox king, and I don't know how to call these two. Zhu Qing bowed and said. This is my wife. It would be great if you could call me Lady Red Peony in the future. This is my only daughter, you are, explained the fox king. Zhu Qing bowed again and said, Madam Hongxiao is polite, and the little princess is polite. At this moment, the girl who was eagerly gnawing on the Zhu fruit froze in an instant, with the words, Long live fox king, you are, little princess, swirling in her mind. Therefore, since childhood, she felt that her family name was very familiar and not an illusion. The fox king and the snake demon Zhu Qing have both finished communicating, 
and the snake demon has left. Little Fox Ewer was immersed in the fact that I was the beautiful but powerless Jade Face Princess, and even burdened an old cow. Still a concubine. Still using money to support him and his wife. Finally, he was killed by Zhu Beiji with a rake. Wait, so this is the setting for Journey to the West. Where did my mother go after my father's death? Is it still possible to leave here now? How to save your own life? What a headache. Daddy, you ran to the Fox King's arms and arched, saying, Daddy, you're ten thousand years old. Why do you call yourself the long live Fox King? The Fox King touched the hair of his beloved daughter in his arms and said slowly, Dad, he's not that old. He's only over two thousand years old this year. Long live the Fox King is just a small demon who worshipped the mountain before. I heard that emperors in the world call him Long Live. You are nodded and asked again, can Daddy live to be ten thousand years old? It seems like I have never heard Daddy talk about the origin of our family. Which family is in charge of the current dynasty? I used to get annoyed when I told you things, but now there are so many problems. You gradually listen to my father's explanation. Our demon tribe has been less and less favored and protected by heaven and earth since the times of the flood and the enfeoffment of gods. Taking our fox tribe as an example, the transformation of thunder calamity is just the beginning of cultivation, and after that, we will suffer thunder calamity every thousand years. The severity of thunder calamity depends on what we have done in this millennium what is related to it the fox king slowly explained and smiled as he glanced at his wife. Madam Hongxiao looked at the father and daughter with tenderness in her eyes and said, Your father is 2,300 years old this year, and I am 1,700 years old. Both of us are from the Tu Shan clan, but neither of us belong to the main branch. So when we achieved our cultivation, we left the Tu Shan clan with our belongings and lived a carefree life. Although it's not the main branch, there are still a few ancestors above us. Our incense is thin, which is why you, a little one, even though you were born outside, can still live a life of drinking spiritual dew and eating spiritual fruits every once in a while. That's why you're not satisfied, greedy little fox cub. Fox King smiled and nodded at Ewer's nose, saying. Ewer wrinkled her nose and said, Okay, okay, I know now. So what does the world look like now? Do you still want to sneak into the human world? That's not possible. With the changing dynasties and chaos in the world, I can't remember the current royal dynasty. But twenty years ago, I received a letter from your aunt. It seemed like Wei, Shu, and Wu still divided the world. It's unknown now. But no matter what the situation is, you're not allowed to go. I don't want to buy your fox scarf then. Madam Hongxiao frowned and said with a somewhat serious tone. I heard it, I don't know. Mom, don't keep scaring people with the idea of not dying. Ewer lowered her head even more dejectedly, curling her small body in the arms of the fox king. As night fell, Ewer lay on her bed, unable to help but secretly ponder. Tang Monk's journey to the west was during the Tang dynasty, and there were at least three hundred years left until now. However, by the time Tang Monk and his disciples passed by this place, their father had already died, and their mother had no news, so the situation must have been bad. So it seems that each of my parents has experienced a change in the past three hundred years, how should we change it? Ewer flipped through the memories of Journey to the West in her mind, thinking that even the monsters with backgrounds had not died, and their unified feature was the heavenly arrangement. The Moyen cave where I live at home is also too close to the western sky. Currently, Buddhism is not yet very prosperous, and I have no time to care about the small demons around me. In the future, if I live so close, it may also cause trouble. But since my parents have a strong cultivation, why haven't they considered soaring to become immortals? After all, there is still time. Tomorrow, I will ask for the reason and find a way to make a change. I can come to this world, which proves that everything has variables, and I am the biggest variable among them. Chapter 2 Reasons for Ewer's Good Cultivation 
you are listening at novelfull.audio. The next day, Yua originally wanted to finish breakfast with her parents so that she could ask some questions. But the maid came to report that Fox King and Lady Zixiao had closed down, and today only Yua was eating. Upon hearing this, Yua felt frustrated and took a few spiritual fruits before running out of the cave to the old tree where she often played. From afar, a white-clad female doll was seen leaning against the trunk of an old tree, sitting cross-legged, holding her round little face in both hands, staring into the distance as if lost in thought. After a long time, it seemed as if there was only one moment. Sighing loudly, what kind of small seclusion. It's obvious that I'm being troublesome. The two of them have gone to the world of two. Picking up the grape placed at hand, picking one and stuffing it into her mouth, sweet Ewer narrowed her eyes into a slit. Suddenly remembered something, blew a whistle, and saw the yellow-clad maid with exposed cat ears quickly rushing over. Linu, do I have a problem? Is there a mountain god on our mountain? If so, why have I never seen it before? Ewer tilted her head and asked Linu. Li Nu respectfully stood by and replied, Princess, there is no mountain god on Jile Mountain. How could the princess see it? Whether it is the mountain god or the land, besides the first generation of gods born in heaven, there are more ordinary soldiers who died in battle when they were in theft. Wherever they drifted with the fragments of the enfeoffment list, they were in theft. There are countless mountains, land, rivers, and lakes in the world, and those soldiers are far from enough. Jile Mountain was chosen by my parents as the cave, which shows that Jile Mountain itself is also good. Why is there no mountain god here? Ewer changed a pair and said without understanding. After being granted the title of deity by ordinary soldiers, their cultivation level is very low, and the cultivation level needs to be fulfilled. Improving their cultivation level is not something that can be achieved overnight, so they need to be supported by human incense. In addition, the merits of their cultivation must also be included in the assessment. There is no human village near Jile Mountain, so it is impossible to give birth to a mountain god solely on their own. Li Nu said as he helped Yuer wipe off the remaining juice on her lips. Yuer nodded clearly and understood. Standing up, holding the pear kernels and grape seeds in his hand, he moved around and found a space with good spiritual energy, dug it up and planted it. Li Nu smiled and watched, then wiped Ewer's hands after finishing. Princess, since eating the spirit fruit, she has left behind the fruit pit to plant. At first, she just thought that the princess had a child's nature, but after nearly a hundred years of perseverance, it has become even more incomprehensible, said Li Nu with a hint of doubt. Ewer smiled silently, holding the hand of Linu, and went to the small valley south of Jile Mountain. Only a few fruit trees were already covered with fruits, and some even began to mature. Princess, aren't these the few spirit fruit pits you planted the earliest? They have already grown up. The fox slave ran forward in surprise. You were lightly tiptoed up the tree, picked two ripe fruits, and threw one to the fox slave, gesturing for her to taste. I immediately put one to my mouth. The entrance of the fruit is full of juice and sweetness, with only the skin slightly sour. The taste is still secondary, and the most important thing is that after eating, the body feels warm and the mind becomes clearer. Although this fruit doesn't have a particularly strong spiritual energy, its taste is always good, Li Nu nodded approvingly and said. But the princess still didn't answer the slave's question. At first, I was just trying to be fun, but over the next few years, it became a habit, Ewer said as she touched the trunk of the tree and looked at Li Nu. Why is it fun? Isn't it because the famous saying, green mountains and clear waters are mountains of gold and silver, is always in my heart. Who wouldn't love money? In addition, the spiritual energy between heaven and earth is becoming increasingly scarce, except for famous mountains, rivers, caves, and blessed places. It is becoming increasingly difficult for small animals to activate their intelligence, and even small fairies find it difficult to make progress, making life increasingly difficult. Ultimately, 
it is difficult to sustain consumption without back feeding. Planting a spirit tree is currently the only way I can do it, pick the ripe ones and leave some for me. You can keep a few more for yourself, and the other maids in the cave can taste two of them you were waved her hand to signal. In fact, in order to cultivate these trees well, Ewer was reluctant to pick the first two batches of fruits, allowing them to ripen and fall off on their own for nurturing the fruit trees. Upon hearing these words, Li Nu's heart was greatly shaken. After picking, they returned to the cave with Ewer. In the casual conversation, I will tell everyone what Ewer said today. So these three masters of our family are all kind hearted masters. That's it. A woman in blue agreed, looking as if her whole body had shed its animal-like appearance. She looked up, with blue feathers on both sides of her eyes and tails. Her name was Chinyu, and she was actually a goshawk. Chapter 3 Parents Leaving the Customs You are listening at NovelFull.audio In the following month, in addition to her daily cultivation, Ewer was busy jumping up and down the Thunder Mountain. She looked at all the spiritual fruit trees she had planted over the years and found that there were less than twenty of them growing, including the most peaches, apricots, and plums. The most surprising thing was that there were also three grapes, but only one red fruit grew weakly. My parents are closed, and I don't know how to place these spiritual fruits. Foxes love to eat grapes by nature. If they can't get grapes, it's good to have wine to drink. Ewer leaves a little for herself, and the rest is made into wine, waiting for her parents to leave the border to drink. What about the remaining peaches, apricots, and plums? When picking, I only felt that there were only a few trees. When I brought the fruits back home, I realized that they were almost piled up into small mountains. I saw a female doll wearing white clothes, turning left and right three times around these three fruit mountains, sighing with sorrow. Li Nu and Qin Yu looked at each other and smiled. Li Nu said, Princess, don't worry. There are many good things like lingua, which is naturally a great thing. Qin Yu has a way. You are turned to look at Qin Yu. The princess also knows that the fox king and his wife are kind. Hearted. Whenever they have something, they will give it to those little demons who have worshipped the mountain. Since this spiritual fruit cannot be stored, why not reward them in the name of the princess, so that they can appreciate the princess's kindness? Ching Yu suggested. Yu nodded and said, Ching Yu's words can be considered a solution, but can this fruit be appreciated by others? After all, it is said to be a spiritual fruit, but in fact, it is just a fruit with a slight touch of spiritual energy. The princess was too worried. Before we met the fox king and his wife, we were also ignorant little demons in the mountains and wild. We had never seen or eaten this spiritual thing before. Besides, it was a reward from the princess. Even if it was not good, we had to accept it obediently. Qin Yu said confidently. Yu Er shook her head, hesitating to speak. Li Nu stepped forward and poked Qin Yu, gesturing for her to shut up. Walking up to Yu Er, squatting down to help her tidy up her clothes. Looking directly into Yuer's eyes, she said, the princess thinks what Ching Yu said is too domineering, right? In fact, Ching Yu's words are not wrong. We, the little demons, live peacefully near Jile Mountain, and are all protected by the Fox King. The princess has a kind heart and rewards fruits for us to cultivate. Such great kindness should be appreciated by anyone. Then send someone to deliver the fruits. Every hundred years of cultivation of the nearby mountain demon tribe, they will receive an additional five fruits mixed with various fruits. Each of you will also receive ten fruits, whether you use them for yourself or send them home, it's up to you, you are instructed. What you or didn't expect was that the nearby demon tribes had returned some things to some extent. Most of them are jade, medicinal herbs, and the rarest ones are the snake molt sent by Zhu Qing and the spider silk sent by a spider demon named Junyang. After playing for a while, the maids were sent to the warehouse. In March, when the first snow fell, the fox king and his wife left the border. At first glance, she didn't see her precious daughter when she passed the level. 
At this moment, Yua was playing in the drifting snow, and even felt that her body wasn't playing well enough. She stood in her original form, a chubby and round white fox strolling in the snow, with a trail of plum blossom marks burned on the ground. Finally, he lay down in the snow and started rolling, but Ren Linu and Ching Yu refused to listen to their earnest persuasion. The couple were like a pair of jade figures in the snow, and when Yuer saw her parents coming, she rushed straight up. Before he could get into his father's arms, his mother picked up the fur on his neck and his limbs flapped in the air. Yuer was naturally unwilling, but when someone caught her weak spot, she couldn't move and could only act coquettishly towards her father, arching her head and rubbing against his hand. The fox king shook his head helplessly, leaving Yuer completely wilted and her fluffy hair hanging down. Yuer was brought back to Moyun Cave by her mother like this. As soon as the couple returned to the cave, they saw Lady Zixiao let go of her bare hands, and Yuer flipped in the air, landing on the ground as a chubby doll. Little fox cub, you're having fun playing and rolling around. How old do you really feel like a doll? Is it because this person is small and can even affect your brain? Mrs. Purple Peony said as she reached out to point through the air. Dad, you're out of the border now. I miss you so much. I made wine and I'm waiting for you. And the tree I planted also bears fruit. I'll keep some good ones for Dad to taste later, Yuer said coquettishly as she entered the Fox King's embrace. I have no conscience, I only have your father in my eyes, Mrs. Hongxiao said discontentedly. Bad mother, you always bully me. Dad has always been good to me, of course I am good to him, Yuer said while sticking out her tongue and making a face. Watching the mother and daughter pinch each other again, the fox king hugged his wife with one hand and his daughter with the other. All right, all right, let's go taste Yuer's grape bar together. Sometimes, your mother and daughter make me feel like I have two daughters, both of whom are childlike. The fox king reached out and pinched madam's nose. A family of three each served a glass of wine, which was originally a spirit fruit and was brewed with cultivation and catalysis. The taste of the wine is fragrant and mellow, with some aftertaste. Ewer stopped after drinking half a cup. Dad, I have something to ask. Have you never considered becoming an immortal? Have you ever thought about going back to the two Shan clan to see? Do you become immortal? It seems that you have been chatting with the Linu and their companions lately. The Fox King rubbed Ewer's head, and Ewer seemed to hear an almost imperceptible sigh in a daze. Saying you're stupid, you still don't believe it. Use your fox brain to think about it. Since the witch demon calamity, the demon race has carried karma, not loved and protected by heaven and earth, and the inheritance has been cut off, making cultivation even more difficult. Later on, our fox race encountered another disaster in the battle of sealing the gods, and our reputation has become even worse. Lady Zixiao's voice became lower and lower. In order to quell the anger and grievances of Empress Enyuwa, more than ten elders of the Tushan Fox Clan and Qingqiu Fox Clan were imprisoned in their own territory, and the secret realm of their territory was also isolated from the outside world. Our Fox Clan became even more unpopular. The inheritance was almost cut off, and if there were not some books and elders, we would probably have become ordinary demon clans. So why not become immortals? We are only small immortals, and even worse, we have become mere mounts. Instead of that, it's better to find a cave to cultivate and become a free demon king the fox king slowly explained to Yuer. As for whether or not to return to the two Shan clan's territory, it is indeed necessary to go back. You have passed the transformation thunder calamity, and whether to follow your parents' path or cultivate into an immortal is not a good choice for your parents. Why not go back and ask your ancestors' opinions? You are nodded at the words. When will we go back then? I've never been back before. Is it nice there? Will the ancestors like me? The new year is less than two months away. We have packed some things and haven't visited the Terran for a long time. It's time to take you air to play and drive on. When the spring of March comes, we will be able to return to the clan. 
At that time, we will be able to catch up with the grand scene of courtship between men and women in the clan. You heir will also go to meet her brothers and sisters of the same generation. All right. Go home. Go home. Yu Er jumped three feet happily. Fox King and Lady Hongxiao looked at each other with a smile, yes. Go home. I'm finally going home. Chapter 4 Encountering the Mountain God on the Road You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. De Ko Loi Zara Trong Quatrin Lei Text. Chapter 5 Parental Concerns you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Linu and Qingyu were sitting by the fire, meditating. Lady Zixiao put down Yuer in her arms and leaned against her, constantly patting her back. Fox King reached out to hold Lady Zixiao, who turned her body to one side and continued to coax Yuer, quietly watching her sleeping face. The Fox King forcefully picked up his wife and walked out of the cave. Madam almost exclaimed in surprise, and when she left the cave for a distance, she probably wouldn't disturb Ewer before struggling. You let me down. Madam shook her body, clenched her hands into fists, and pounded at the fox king's chest. Shower, the fox king couldn't resist and let her down, calling out loudly. Humph. Madam still exclaimed angrily, looking down the mountain and not turning her head away from the fox king. How can I not hurt Ewer? Fox King reached out and touched Madam's back. Ewer loves to play and always sees the mountain god. However, she is a foolish person who sacrifices herself for others. He has fooled my daughter again. It's also strange that I never thought you were trying to lure her to the divine realm. Madam turned around and widened her eyes, looking at the Fox King, almost ready to burst into flames, angrily saying. There is a saying that goes, if parents love their children, they will have a profound plan. We have been together for thousands of years, and we have been together for almost a thousand years. With this daughter, how can I not consider her? She loves playing in freedom so much, why do you want her to enter some kind of divine realm, like us being a free demon king? What's wrong with it? Are you the demon king that we are usually worried about? As we all know, the life of the demon tribe is getting harder and it is becoming more difficult to cultivate. If we both have a contingency, I will always ensure that she has a way out. How come we're at this point? We've never done anything sneaky in our lives, but I'm going to personally send my daughter to serve as a fairy maid. The lady held her head high and her shoulders erect, as if her spirit had been immediately drained, murmuring. It's not even that far, and I won't allow it. Although you are may seem stubborn, she actually needs to have Su Hui. Although I haven't asked before, I know she has her own sense of propriety. Besides, there is still time, and I will do my best to protect your mother and son. The fox king took his wife into his arms and said calmly and solemnly. The couple stood on the cliff like this, snuggling together and speechless all night. Until the sun rises, reflecting the morning glow, dew falls on the branches and leaves of plants, and the air is naturally fresh. The couple turned around and returned to the cave. Ewer had not yet woken up, and the Linu was guarding beside her. Qingyu was wandering around the mountain, looking for something to eat. A sudden vibration of spiritual energy attracted the eyes of all small and large creatures in the mountain. I only heard a long and ethereal deer chirping, echoing through the sky. Yua wrinkled her nose and thought it sounded quite pleasant. It seems that those few fruits are quite useful for this new mountain god, not in vain. Thinking so, Yua patted her hands and said something nice. Looking outside, a ray of rosy light fell and only a thick male voice could be heard echoing through the mountains. Congratulations to the Laji Mountain God for obtaining the seal of the Palm Mountain God and confirming the position of the Laji Mountain God. The white-red deer stood on the mountaintop, and in the moment when the sunset fell, a burst of white smoke drifted by. The fourteen-year-old boy gradually grew up and became a young man in his twenties. He grew up, he grew up. Being a fairy can grow up. Ewer felt that her eyes were turning red, 
and she wanted to grow up, but she couldn't grow much. When Fox King and his wife returned to this cave, they happened to hear what Ewer was saying. What's good about growing up, said the lady, opening her mouth. Oh, mother, this is not the time when you despised me back then, Ewer ran to her mother, looked up, and said seriously. I wish you were still in my mother's belly now, so I don't have to worry. Madam crouched down and caressed Ewer's little head, her eyes full of tenderness. Then you still dislike me for causing you trouble, humph. Ewer snorted with a hint of dissatisfaction. I'm not playing with you anymore, I'm going out. Ewer walked towards the cave entrance while speaking, without looking back. Ewer is not a trouble. With you, I know what family happiness is. I wish I could be with you forever, Mrs. murmured, her voice so low that no one except herself and the Fox King could hear her. The Fox King hugged his wife, with a look of heartache and helplessness in his eyes. The helplessness and helplessness towards his daughter's future left this seemingly always spirited man feeling dejected. Don't worry, even if we don't have the ability, we still have our ancestors. If we can't, we'll hide in our clan territory. The clan territory is also large enough for Ewer to grow up well. Besides, how could it be in the worst situation? Fox King comforted his wife and joked. Ewer ran to the mountain god temple again, peeking outside and softly calling out to the mountain god, as if afraid of disturbing him. As a result, the scene changed and we arrived at the mountain god temple again. I saw a young man in white sitting cross-legged in front of me, opening his eyes with clear eyes and a smile on his lips. Ewer, we meet again. Hey, I didn't tell you my name was Ewer. How did you hear that? Did you hear my parents call me? Ewer was surprised, her amber eyes widened. This is just a little bit of my ability to truly obtain the position of the mountain god. I can observe and hear everything that happens on the mountain. And thank you. The fruit you gave me is very useful. If I were to clear it myself, I'm afraid it would take some time to take control of the mountain god seal. No need to thank you, you're so amazing now. The mountain god shook his head and explained, no, this is the ability brought by the mountain god's position. My own mana is only enough to start using the mountain god seal. What you mean is that because you have obtained the throne of the mountain god, the whole mountain belongs to you, and you are the whole mountain, so you are aware of everything that happens on the mountain. However, your magic power is still insufficient, and when exercising your duties, you are still limited. You're right, Ewer is really smart, she's right at all. The mountain god smiled and nodded, his eyes showing some kindness. Ewer felt goosebumps all over her body. It seems a bit strange that the two of them appeared to be siblings a few years apart the day before, but today they seem to be one generation apart. What is the duty of the mountain god? Ewer sat on the stool, swinging her two short legs and asked. The mountain god is the deity in charge of a mountain, and the birth, aging, illness, death, prosperity, and decline of this mountain and its creatures belong to me. Also, I will do my best to ensure the safety of the hunters who enter the mountain. If I have time, I might as well talk to you again about the responsibilities of the god of fortune. The god of land. He only manages a lot and is very trivial. You are listened attentively, this is knowledge that has been curious but unknown for two generations. First, the god of land breeds all things, so people should reward the god of land every time they sow and harvest, second, manage the township, every existence has its own god of land, third, take charge of the registered residents of the dead and guide the way for the dead. Wow! The land god is so amazing! Ewer exclaimed, originally influenced by Journey to the West, she thought that any mountain god, land god, was the lowest level of little god, not respected by people, and had little ability. I didn't expect to be able to do so much, it's really unexpected. Suddenly, Ewer noticed that the bell in her hand was ringing. I'm leaving, Mountain God. My parents are calling me. We should also be leaving soon. We have a chance to see each other again. Ewer stood up to bid farewell, 
and the mountain god watched as you are left. Chapter 6 Seeing and Hearing in Shu You are listening at NovelFull.audio Dad, where are we going next? Yua was held in the arms of the Fox King, and they have been traveling non-stop for the past few days. Dad and your mother are thinking of going to Sichuan for the Chinese New Year. You haven't seen the New Year of the human race yet, it's quite lively. The Fox King explained, without delaying him as he drove through the clouds and mist. Shu. It feels warmer and warmer along the way. Shu is known as Jinfu, a land of fish and rice, with a pleasant climate. When my father and mother went to visit the world, they found it quite interesting. Just didn't expect the whole family to be dumbfounded when they arrived, not to mention devastated. However, there were also refugees everywhere, making a lot of noise. From time to time, one of them lay on the ground and never got up again. In just this moment, Ewer saw the various states of the world, and the world was desolate. Fox King and his wife regretted and turned around with Ewer, ready to leave. Ewer patted the Fox King and gestured to let her down. Looking into the eyes of his parents, he said, let's go help. Ewer, you can't do anything foolish. My mother knows you have a kind heart and can't see these things. She wants to save people. But it's not such an easy thing. If you save someone who shouldn't be saved, it will involve the underworld's underworld and causal karma, and it will be difficult to escape. The lady looked at her beloved's amber eyes, which seemed to have no trace of darkness, and said softly but firmly. The fox king shook his head, expressing disagreement. Being able to see all of this is fate. If you can hold on to it, hold on to it. You are good people, am I bad people? Madam shouted angrily, suppressing her voice when she saw one or two of them not listening to advice. Mom, I have a way. As Ewer spoke, she walked towards the nearby Tudi temple, lit a handful of incense, and summoned the land back. Is land the land of the capital city? The summoned land was holding a registered residence booklet in his hand, drawing and sketching in his hand, and his face was anxious and angry. He looked at a little demon with the appearance of a few years old, and tried to resist his anger. Little doll, what are you looking for me for? I want to help. I know you're very busy now, so you definitely need help. You're still a rigid little demon, what can you do for me? Even though I couldn't help but endure my anger, I couldn't help but speak harshly when I heard the land that felt like yours imagination was wild. My parents are here, and they can also help. At this moment, the land was put aside and looked down upon. Yes, at this moment, he dare not underestimate you are, after all, not every little demon has a pair of parents with cultivation in the fairyland. The fox king and his wife, when asked about becoming immortals by Ewer, actually did not say that they were already immortals, but they had never ascended. There are six people in my family, my parents, me and two maidservants. I can't do anything else. It's okay to help lead the soul to Chen Huang Temple. You're right. Can you invite your parents over? Yuer waved to her parents. Madam put away the dissatisfaction on her face and walked over together. The little old man has seen two demon kings. Land God, there's no need to be too polite. My daughter didn't cause you any trouble, did she? I can't thank you enough for your willingness to help guide your souls to the Chenghuang Temple. But not only is the city busy now, but I'm afraid the villages and towns below are in a mess. I hope you can spare more time. The more the land god spoke, the more he felt guilty. He had been speaking harshly just now, but now he is still begging for more. If we can help the handlebars, we can help the handlebars. There are the most people in the city. Our husband and wife can go back and forth to the city, the Tudi temple and the Chenghuang temple as soon as possible. My daughter and maidservant are not highly educated so we can go to the villages and towns below to help. We start immediately. The fox king immediately made a decision, I thank you all for helping the people of this city. As the land god spoke, he was about to bow down and be supported by the fox king. 
Madam, listening to the fox king's words, was almost annoyed and was grabbed by the fox king's hand. You are, you have to do what you propose and do your best. If your parents are not by your side, you are afraid and not afraid. I'm not afraid, mom and dad. I dare say I can do it. Mom also works hard, don't worry about me. I will finish my work early and come to meet mom and dad. During a family of three having sex, we didn't see the distant Buddha's light emerging. It turned out that Bodhisattva Samantabhadra was watching everything in the clouds. I silently recite Amitbha Buddha in my heart. Demons have good intentions and benevolence, and my Buddhist sect should also contribute. After being busy in Ewer for several days, dozens of female Taoist priests and nuns arrived in the capital. The Taoist priests help the living heal their wounds and illnesses, while the nuns transcend the dead. Everyone fulfills their respective duties. I've been busy for almost a month, and it's coming to the new year. Everything finally returned to calm. At this moment, the golden light flickered in the sky, and some golden dots fell. Yuer looked at this thing and ran straight to her head, hugging her head in fear. Little doll, this is the golden light of merit, it's a good thing. With it, your demon tribe will be less likely to be struck by lightning and have a greater chance of survival, said a man with a slightly bearded face and a height of seven feet. Ewer didn't hear anything else, only heard that merit and golden light are equivalent to living for a long time, so she desperately looked at where her parents were. Mother, father, this is for you. Each of you has half. Mom and dad have it, so hurry up and take it away. Mom really underestimates my fox cub and can help her earn merits and gold. Next time in a thunderstorm, I will fight hard and be with you for thousands of years. Madam touched Ewer's face, tears flickering in her eyes, her voice getting lower and lower as she spoke, but the smile at the corner of her mouth couldn't be suppressed. Let the lord of the mansion, the city god of the mansion, laugh. The fox king bowed and saluted. This is not funny, it's good, it's emotions, it's beauty. As the city god, I've seen many instances of my children being unfilial, but as a child in your family, filial piety is rare. Filial piety is rare. The Fuchin god caressed his beard and laughed heartily. Everyone is working hard. Let's gather together during the new year, let's get together. While everyone was drinking, the city god quietly brought the fox king to the side. Nyinxiao brothers, I have a heartless request. At the beginning of the words from the city god, the fox king felt a slight tingling on his scalp and a cool back, just about to interrupt him. Actually, can you leave your little jade child to me? What I mean is to be a subordinate to me, to be officially naturalized as a god, and to be supported by heaven and earth. The expression of the fox king changed with the words spoken by the city god. You don't know, your little ewer doesn't look small, she's too capable. The county city god doesn't have enough subordinates, so sending people to reincarnation is slow. It was Ewer who came up with a solution that solved it. In fact, Ewer didn't do much, she just sorted them into different categories. Separate the souls of each village, and then use their merits and demerits to distinguish them, dividing them into five levels. Active merits and non-demerits, active merits and minor demerits, reactive merits and non-demerits, active merits and major demerits, and reactive demerits. Send it to the underworld according to the schedule, and only after reaching a hundred can extradition begin once. Thank you for your kindness. Ewer is a little clever, but she is still young and uncertain. And I only have this woman, so I can't bear to part with her. If you don't change your mind when she becomes an adult in the future, she is willing, and I will let her have a try. Stop it. After all, fate won't come to us. Let's go and have a drink. Ewer was already drunk by this time. With the golden light of merit, my parents have basically solved the next lightning disaster crisis, and Ewer has relaxed a lot, unconsciously taking a few more sips. She slipped her tail and hooked her own mother's leg, laughing foolishly. P.S. Add one more sentence. Lodgy Mountain really has this mountain, 
located within the territory of Qinghai. Mountame became the site of Bodhisattva Samantabhadra during the Eastern Jin Dynasty when the Yan Hua Sutra was introduced. Previously, Mountame was a Taoist site and a place for the cultivation of Kuan Dao, female. Later, it was changed to a Buddha and became a Bhikkhuni, and now there are also monks. Chapter 7 Tea Trees You are listening at NovelFull.audio When you are woke up, the group was already on their way again. Yua wrapped her arms around Lady Hongxiao's neck and rubbed her face, her voice carrying a sound of deep sleep. Mom, where are we going? Madam patted Yua on the back and said with a smile, Mother's little fox cub woke up. You slept so long. Do you remember what you did when you got drunk? Yua didn't hear the answer to her question and started wriggling in her wife's arms, still groaning. Madam slapped Ewer on the buttocks and lifted her up. Little fox cub, hold on tight and fall down. Your mother won't go down to catch you. If you fall to the ground, it will turn into fox meat mud. It's starting to scare Ewer again. The fox king didn't complain, but believed that his wife and daughter were both childish and mischievous. We're almost in Jingchu. Your mother and I thought it would be tiring for you to be busy these days. Let's find a place with fewer people to rest. Thank you, my parents love me the most. Upon hearing these words, your spirit suddenly became restless. Can you remember what you did last night? Madam still looked at Ewer narrowly, teasing her incessantly. Tiny old child, can you drink some wine without feeling dizzy? Almost completely transformed into a prototype, and even happily revealed her tale. The lady said of Ewer's foolish behavior, her face beaming with laughter in her tone. Ewer didn't look, just stared at the fox king. Even if we have to start, why is it so early? It's good during the day, is there anything else? The fox king shook his head and said, It's okay, but I'm afraid I'll have to say goodbye in the end. Many people will come to see me off, which is really too troublesome. Why not be so quiet? Yua nodded and silently pondered in her heart where Jingchu was. Jingchu seems to be Hubei. Thinking about it, my head dozed off on the lady's shoulder again. Xiaoya is still young, unable to withstand alcohol, and slept soundly. The fox king and his wife glanced at each other and smiled at each other. The fox king did not tell his wife what the city god of the heavenly mansion said yesterday, fearing that she would be upset. I left Bashu early with my wife and children on the grounds of rest. When Ewer woke up again, it was not a cloud-shrouded place, but a cave surrounded by vegetation. Mom and Dad, where is this? This is Xiongshan. Xiongshan is the ancient name of Shenangjia. Of course, Ewer must not know. She still feels weak and dizzy when she gets up now. Shaking up, as she was about to lie down on the ground, she was embraced by Li Niu Li Niu waved his hand and moved the blanket over, while Qin Yu spread it under Yu Er's body. Why do I look so different from you guys? It seems even better. Yu Er half lifted her eyelids and looked at Li Niu and Qin Yu. Li Niu asked Yu Er to rely on him and reached out to rub the acupoints on her head. Of course it's different. It's not just thanks to the princess, but also because the maidservants have gained some merit and become more complete. Whether it's Sister Linu's cat ears or the marks of the maidservants' feathers right now, they have all disappeared completely. Also, there is a possibility that we can go further. Ching Yu said as she leaned her face towards Yuer, allowing her to see more clearly. It's because you put in your best effort that you got it. We can't say that. Without a princess, we wouldn't dare to do such a thing. What kind of wine was that yesterday? I felt tired and dizzy after drinking it. Ha ha ha, you're feeling bad. That's Qingling wine, which has the effect of condensing essence, concentrating spirit, and refining muscles and bones. The earth god has been collecting it for a hundred years. Fortunately, you little one drank spiritual dew and ate spiritual fruits since childhood, guiding the moonlight to refine your body. That's why you look like you've had a hangover. 
Otherwise, you would have been in pain and screaming. Madam and Fox King walked in from outside the cave, and upon hearing Ewer's question, Madam laughed so happily. Hurry up and explain the reason to her. Fox King shook his head with a smile, went over to hug Ewer, and lightly patted her. It's okay, if you're willing to practice for a while, you can also expel alcohol. If you don't want to, just take a nap and let you go out for a walk tomorrow. But don't go too far, there's a big demon nearby. After Ewer wakes up, it happens to be the first day of the Chinese New Year. Ewer closed her eyes and didn't remember that she still wanted to be in the lazy bed, but a mountain song spread in her ear. Ewer frowned and buried herself in the blanket, only getting up when she was completely sleepless. Where are my parents? Ching Yu is not here either. Ewer rubbed her eyes and looked at Linu. The fox king and his wife have gone out, saying that the princess can go and play by herself later. Ching Yu will go out and see if there is anything interesting, explained the fox slave while helping Ewer comb her hair. Ewer probably understood that the world between her parents had begun again, and she wouldn't bring this little drag bottle with her. Princess, princess, Ching Yu is back. Ching Yu ran into the cave with excitement. Ching Yu discovered a village and they were holding a ceremony in a place where they didn't know if it was a temple or a temple. It looked so interesting. Let's go and see later, Yuer agreed with a smile. By the time Yuer and the others touched the house, there was no one inside anymore. A smell of incense filled the air, and the three of them sneaked in like thieves with their feet on. The three of them headed straight into the inner room, but no one noticed that the leaves of the sturdy old tree were swaying gently without wind. Ewer saw a deity statue on top, with a bull head and a human body. Her figure looked very tall, and the smoke from the burning incense just now surrounded her. Princess, come here quickly. There are several paintings here. After taking a glance at the statue, Ching Yu took the lead in strolling around. Ewer hurried over and indeed there were several murals. The murals told a story. The protagonist of the story is Emperor Yen, Shen Nong. These murals tell the story of the Yen Emperor Shen Nong's life, with the last painting depicting Shen Nong's ascension. So this is the place where the Shen Nong clan ascended. Ewer has always been curious about the legendary three emperors and five emperors. Unexpectedly, she had the opportunity to meet the legendary Yan Emperor, the ancestor of Chinese agriculture, and the ascending place of the medicine god. Shen Nong. Ching Yu looked at Yuer's dazed expression in front of the mural and called out softly. Princess. Princess. Ching Yu. Yuer turned her head to look at Ching Yu. Ching Yu finally let go and patted her chest, letting out a sigh of relief. Princess, you scared the servant. I thought there was some magic in this mural that captivated you. If there were any unexpected circumstances, how could the servant explain it to the fox king and madam? You, Mao is restless. The princess is just thinking and worrying, Li Niu poked Ching Yu's head. Ching Yu, I am a fox with the greatest talent for illusion. Although I don't have much real ability yet, it's not easy to confuse me. Ching Yu touched her head and chuckled foolishly. What is the princess looking at? Look at a great deity. The person on the mural is the Yen Emperor Shennong, and you should be very clear about the story of Shennong tasting a hundred herbs. Without him, the human race wouldn't be as prosperous as it is today. What is the relationship between the human race and us? Ching Yu murmured silently, and this murmur drifted into Yuer's ear. There was a hint of darkness in Ewer's eyes. Regardless of humans, gods, or demons, we should respect and respect our elders and ancestors. Ching Yu, we must understand the importance of reverence in order to know what we do and what we don't do. What a person who does things but doesn't do things. A young child, surprisingly, has such an opinion. An old male voice came over. Li Nu's ears moved and he reached out to point outside. Princess, it's outside. The three of them walked into the courtyard, searched around, and finally Yuer meowed towards the tea tree in the courtyard. 
The tea tree was lush, and a faint fragrance was carried to Ewer's nose by the gentle breeze, making her mind clear and her mind relaxed. Ewer touched the trunk of the tea tree, which was at least two circles thicker than Ewer's waist. The rough trunk of the tree bears the traces of growth rings, touching Ewer's soft little hands, as if the past scene was before us. Chapter 8 Worship You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ha ha ha, ha ha ha, itch, don't touch the old man's waist. Ewer touched the tea tree with her hand, but the tree laughed uncontrollably. Ewer was startled and quickly put down her hand, taking two steps back in fear. Do you know that people are scary, scary to death? Ewer spoke out angrily and questioned. Little doll, are we humans? We're not humans, we're demons. What you're saying is that we're imitating humans. Speak. Ewer pondered for a moment, and the past scenes quickly flashed through her mind. No wonder her parents are particularly at ease with her, no wonder they didn't make decisions for her without authorization, no wonder they. It turns out that after being able to speak, they have already exposed themselves. Although they are a fox, they carry a living heart. Doll, what are you talking about? A face appeared on the tree, but not very old, looking like an eleven or twelve year old boy. Speaking with an old and domineering demeanor, there is really a sense of discord. Don't call me, doll, your voice is also your voice. Why don't you check if it matches your face? Cough, it's boring to expose it. The next second, the voice turned into a childlike voice with a hint of heaviness. You are simply sat cross-legged under the tree. You shouldn't be the tea tree that saved Nomzu's life. Of course not, those are my ancestors who have long been enlightened and become immortals, following their ascent. Indeed, it doesn't look like it either. Just now, your opinion didn't seem like a little over a hundred-year-old doll. What opinions do you have? It's just a matter of reading books and teaching by example to your parents. You're just a tree, and you can't go anywhere. How do you understand these things? The two of them started chatting with each other. I said, the tea tree that rose with the ancestors of the farmers is my ancestor. The people in this village have been worshipping and worshipping for countless years from ancient times to the present, and it is inevitable that there will be divine beings descending. My ancestors just enlightened me. I see. Then you are the essence of plants and trees, why do you call yourself a demon? To be honest, it doesn't matter whether you are a so dot called immortal or a demon for people. Anyway, we are all aliens. But for us, it's a difference in our path of cultivation. Just now, saying you are a demon is also an offense to you. A tree and a fox were chatting happily, making an appointment to continue tomorrow. As I was about to leave, I remembered forgetting to pay homage to my ancestor Nongzu. I turned around and bowed three times, silently reciting in my heart. Nongzu, forgive me. Today, Ewer was reckless and almost collided with you. Now I apologize to you. Returning to the cave, seeing that both the fox king and his wife had returned, Ewer took the initiative to greet them, hugging his wife's arms with both hands and pressing her face against her hands, unable to resist rubbing against them. Madam and Fox King exchanged a glance, sensing that Ewer's emotions seemed unstable. What's wrong, I went out and didn't have a good time. I'm a year older, why do I love to be spoiled more? Madam touched Ewer's head. Ewer wanted to speak, but she hesitated, her eyebrows twisted into a knot. What can't be said directly to parents? Fox King chimed in beside him. When did my parents know that I had memories from the previous life? You are asked eagerly and kept clasping her hands. Mother is careless, it was your father who discovered it early on. After you were born, you would always stare blankly at the top of the cave. When you can speak, it becomes even more obvious. Don't you think it's strange? What's so strange? Although there are few people or demons with Su Hui, they are not without them. Don't worry, you are the daughter of your parents and our little Jade. Your parents will always love and protect you. 
The fox king looked directly into Ewer's eyes and said with a confident tone. By the way, how could you suddenly think of this? Ewer told her parents the whole story, its causes and consequences, and she also wanted to prepare some things herself to worship the ancestors of the farmers. Whether in the past or present life, Nongzu is a deity worthy of respect and admiration. If fortunate enough to meet him, he naturally wants to express his gratitude. My parents will go with you tomorrow. So what do you need to prepare? It would be great if there were fresh grain seeds for fragrant pills and fruits from the mountains. Our family is full of food and drink, where can we find food? Fox King shook his head. Tonight, you and your mother can make the fragrant pills together. Tomorrow morning, I will go to the mountains to find some good fruits. As she spoke, Ewer sighed and said, I always feel like I've been educated all the way. Only by receiving education can one grow. New Year's wish, I, Ewer, grow up healthy. New Year's wishes, parents' health and safety. Ewer wanted to tell her parents what she was thinking in her heart, but unfortunately, the heavens didn't allow her to speak up. I am speechless. Ewer could only turn her back and silently let out a sigh. I started making incense pills with my own mother, which is also a natural skill of the fox tribe. Everyone knows that foxes have a fox scent, so anyone who develops intelligence will find ways to find some vanilla flowers to cover up their scent. Those with advanced magic can even use fox glands as the base to make incense. Ewer was born in the golden elixir realm, unlike ordinary little foxes, so she didn't have this worry. But her mother, Lady Hongxiao, really loves beauty and occasionally makes her own incense. Influenced by it, Ewer has achieved some success. It's not difficult to make fragrant pills, what's important is what you want to make. Madam arranged out the incense, wood powder, and adhesive powder used, and Ewer carefully examined them. Mom, these things are already enough, but I want to add another fragrance. T. Isn't this already there? Madam reached out and pointed to a small box. Nongzu soared from here on, and the tea tree that saved his life also rose with him. This tea fairy has left behind descendants, and I want to borrow a few leaves from him. Mother will do it first, and I will go back as soon as I go. After you are finished speaking, she wanted to run outside. As a result, he was rolled back by the fox king's sleeve. The fox king sent Ewer over. Ewer looked at the pitch black temple, silently swallowed a mouthful of water, and glanced at her own father. Discovering that her father didn't understand her meaning, he gestured for her to go quickly. It's okay, it's okay. I'm not a human myself. What's to be afraid of? The one enshrined inside is the farmer ancestor. There won't be any ghosts, no ghosts, no ghosts. As Ewer walked, she murmured in her heart. In fact, if someone came at this time, the one who should have been scared should be able to see a pair of eyes with green light hanging in the air. Hey, hey, wake up. Ghosts. The tea tree was awakened by Ewer's tapping, and she saw a pair of eyes glowing green, and suddenly exclaimed in surprise. Where's the ghost? Ewer was also scared and jumped up. Little doll, you're a little doll. Why did you appear here in the middle of the night? The tea tree heard Ewer's voice. Ewer slowly opened her eyes and reached out to slap the trunk of the tree. Why are you scaring people? Is it okay if you scare people? You little fox, you're not even human, and you're afraid of ghosts. Aren't you also afraid of ghosts? If you have something to say, hurry up. Tea Tree seemed a bit shy and said stubbornly. I want to exchange something with you. Can I exchange your ten leaves with Linglu? Yua reached out to a jade bottle with an open stopper, the liquid inside shining silver. Are you sure you want to change it? This is not an ordinary spiritual dew, it's moonlight dew, there's a little moonlight. To change, you are nodded. Your fox tribe is also best at worshipping the moon, and you don't lack the moonlight. Let's exchange it. Don't say I took advantage of you, I'll give you twenty. 
As she spoke, twenty green leaves were already hanging in front of Ewer's face. Okay, then I'll take it. I'll pour it under the tree for you. Ewer waved her small hand and collected the tea, shaking the bottle with the other hand. Auntie, be careful not to spill it. Just leave it on the ground, said the tea tree in a somewhat anxious tone. Okay, see you tomorrow. Goodbye, Ewer waved her hand and turned around before leaving. Chapter 9 Arrival in Shuzhou, Anhui You are listening at NovelFull.audio The next evening, as the sun set in the west, the fox king's family of three arrived at the Nongzu temple. After bowing to the statue, a family of three presented their fruits. Ewer was still thinking about where her father had never left, where the fruit came from. It turned out to be the one she had planted on Jile Mountain before, and a faint cry came from her throat. Madam ignites the fragrant pill. After adding tea, the scent of the fragrant pill was slightly bitter, but later it returned to sweetness, fresh and concentrated, causing Ewer's nose to move slightly, sniffing and sniffing again. Ewer, take a good look. I saw Madam dancing gracefully amidst the fragrance and smoke, not as seductive and charming as an ordinary fox dance, but with solemnity in sanctity. This is the sacrificial fox dance, which is only performed during large dot scale festivals. Study hard. Fox King reminded Ewer in her ear. Ewer became more and more mesmerized as she watched, as if many mothers were dancing around her and her father. After Madame finished dancing, Ewer still immersed herself in it and couldn't extricate herself. The fox king waved his hand in front of Ewer's face, attempting to bring her back to her senses, but to no avail. Little fox cub, wake up. Come to your senses. Madam tapped Ewer's head. It hurts. Ewer hugged her head. Ewer is still young and unstable, inevitably immersed in it. You don't need to wake her up, the fox king did not stop his wife's behavior, but his tone still leaned towards Ewer. So, hurry up and think of a way out for her. As a fox, it's quite embarrassing to be deceived by illusions, said the lady, wrinkling her nose. How old she is, how old you are. Fox King smiled and shook his head. As the incense balls burned out and the family of three was preparing to bid farewell, stars twinkled in the sky and they felt closer and closer. I only realized when I got closer that there were fireflies all over the place, surrounding this family of three. Ewer is very happy, fireflies are not common. Fireflies, fluttering like a silver lamp, Ewer reached out her hand, and one or two landed in her hand. Her crisp laughter spread throughout the entire temple. A family of three in the tea tree that quietly opened its eyes to see fireflies, no one noticed. After the spiritual light of the statue of Nongzu appeared, it returned to tranquility. Tea tree, I may be leaving soon. Let's meet again by chance. Little fox, goodbye by chance. In the next few days, the fox king and his wife ran into the deepest part of the nearby mountain range, and Ewer sat at the entrance of the cave waiting for them to come back. Is the princess anxious? Li Nu and Qin Yu guarded Ewer's left and right respectively. Ewer shook her head and said, I don't know how many times my parents have gone through it, either when they go out or when they are in seclusion. I'm just a little worried. Xiong Shan. Shenangjia has been a blessed place from ancient times to the present day. In the previous life, there were also rumors of wild people, and there are probably many powerful monsters here. It's not easy to collect wool on someone else's territory, so I didn't bring Ewer with me. King, save me, shouted a small man with earthy yellow skin and green leaves on his head, about the size of a palm. The fox king and his wife had a bad mood, so they quickly dodged and retreated, ignoring the villain. After entering the depths, the fox king and his wife were very careful in their actions. When they encountered something with a spirit, if they had any requests, they would exchange them. Seeing countless medicinal materials, such as Gastrodia alata, Glossy Ganoderma, Penelia ternata, and the seventh leaf and one branch flower, Paris Tower, the couple were also very excited, but they were not greedy. 
they took some of them and left the seeds. It wasn't until I saw that little person, who looked like the essence of plants and trees, that I wanted to step forward. However, I didn't want to cause any misunderstanding, so I heard the big king save me. I saw a white light rapidly approaching in the air, and upon landing, it was a dazzling white tiger with a strong aura. Immediately transformed into a white-haired man, and the little man jumped into his hand. The fox king frowned inwardly. This tiger is probably about to reach the Xian immortal realm. If he were alone, he could still fight against it. The red peony has just entered the earth immortal realm for less than a hundred years, so what should we do? The fox king took the initiative to take a step and bowed with an arched hand. I have met the mountain lord. Taoist friend, thank you very much. I don't know where you two come from, why are you here? The white tiger also bowed back. We came from the west and lived in Moyun Cave on Jile Mountain. My wife and children wanted to return to our ancestral land, thinking that we would always bring something back so that we could have the face to meet our elders. We just went up the mountain to find some medicinal herbs, not like just now. The fox king's tone was very gentle. Ha ha ha, I see. This is Xiao Huangjing, who just transformed into a human form. It wasn't long ago because some villagers had entered the mountain before and almost dug him up while he was asleep, so he was extremely timid. Bai Hu chuckled. What do those two want? I have some favorites, but we need to have some interaction. I thought there would be a fierce battle, but I didn't expect the road to turn. The fox king and his wife exchanged a glance and nodded together. That's nature. However, he remained vigilant and worried about the danger of following him. Unexpectedly, White Tiger took the initiative to propose on dot site trading. I know, both of you have taken it into consideration and made the transaction accordingly. It won't delay your return home either. The Fox King and his wife had been in the mountains for a few days and had already gained something, but there was no yellow spirit. They eagerly looked at the little man. Shan Jun, could you please ask that friend? I would like some high dot quality Huang Jing, exchanged with Yuehua and Cordyceps. I have some here that he showed filial piety to me. Take a look, pick whatever you want. By the way, we produce a type of chicken blood plum blossom jade here. I don't know if you two are interested. White Tiger flipped his hand and a piece of jade appeared in his hand. The surface of this jade is bright red with chicken blood, appearing in large clumps, like clusters of blooming plum blossoms, which is truly eye-dot catching. Plus the name, Chicken Blood, there's no fox who doesn't like chickens. It would be great to give it to the younger generation. The Fox King did not hesitate. To be honest, Shan Jun, where we live, there are also jade and stones, but mainly blue and white jade. If Shan Jun likes them, we will exchange them for jade. If Shan Jun doesn't like them, we still have some other things. Fox King waved his hand casually and a few high dot quality blue and white jade pieces fell to the ground. Madam thought for a moment and took out a sugar colored jade stone. The jade is delicate and translucent. This transaction brings joy to both the host and the guest. Both of you can still take a stroll here, but if you explain in advance that Bai cannot come forcefully, I will bid farewell first. Bai Hu said anxiously. The Fox King couple took a liking to several old ginseng plants and exchanged a piece of gold ore. White Tiger resides in the west and possesses the aura of gold and silver. For him, Gold-based minerals are the top choice for refining his body and magical tools. This mountain is really rich. Madam held the hand of the fox king and looked around after the white tiger left. Yes, not only is it full of spiritual energy, but various medicinal and mineral resources are also everywhere. By the way, we still lack one thing. The fox king thought of the tea tree in the Nomzu temple. What's the difference? Madam looked at the fox king with a slightly puzzled expression, and her eyebrows furrowed slightly. T. T. Yes, let's search for tea trees on the mountain to see if they have any essence. 
can't the tea tree in that ancestral temple work? Still, it's natural that the tea tree is the best. That little tea tree has some incense on it. Finally, we gathered everything together and the family set off. Chapter 10 Encountering a Little Fairy on the Road You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Mother, I heard from Linu and Qingyu that their ancestral land is in Suzhou and Hangzhou, so is it Suzhou or Hangzhou? Yu er held his wife's hand and looked up at her. Silly child, that's not how it is calculated. Madam touched Yu er's head. Our ancestral land is a blessed land in the Suzhou Hangzhou area, but it does not truly land in Suzhou Hangzhou. It is an outer realm, and even if ordinary people walk to that place, they cannot see or touch it. Madam explained to Yu er. So, if you still don't understand, Dad will give you an example. Buddhism calls you Zumajizi, and Taoism calls you Zayashankian Kuan. Didn't you also learn a little? In fact, it's the ability to see big from small things and stuff the entire tribe into dust or gravel. The Fox King took the conversation and further explained. How impressive. You are unconsciously praised. Ha, huh, actually it's not just us. There are mountains, rivers, and lakes everywhere, with dragon kings of all sizes inside. Even if someone dives underwater, what they see is just an empty space. It's the same, it's the same. As they hurried on, they saw that Yuan Shao, filled round balls made of glutinous rice. Flour for Lantern Festival, had not yet passed everywhere, and the taste of the Spring Festival was still very strong. The Fox King and his wife planned to find an ordinary village to stop, rest, and take a break. Ching Yu, go find a place. Forget it, you and the fox slave bring some tribute and incense to the earth temple. One is to inform the earth god of how many days we need to stay temporarily, and the other is to ask him to help find a place to live. You are, the fox king ordered. Upon hearing this, you are flipped her small hand and saw a string of purple grapes, five soft and sweet yellow plums, and three peaches with a bright red on their tops, all weighed by a white porcelain plate, on which one could see faint fox patterns. Under the guidance of the land god, we found a house next to the village. It's late at night, except for Ewer, everyone else is meditating and resting. Ewer faintly heard an unknown sound outside, rustling. Ewer was a little curious, so she went outside. As soon as she took a step, her wife noticed her. She was about to stop Ewer when she saw the fox king shaking his head. Don't worry, there's nothing wrong, said the fox king, closing his eyes again. Ewer's ears twitched slightly, listening to the sparrows chirping in the sky. Huer wants to cultivate immortals. In addition to being born in Tushan, Qingxiu, she still has inheritance. The rest of them need to pass the examination of the Mount Taishan goddess to have a complete practice. And this bird talk is one of the assessments. Have you heard that something happened to Grandma Rabbit's house in the western field? Grandma Rabbit's house, what can happen? Don't you know yet? Several of Grandma Rabbit's grandchildren were caught by the butcher at the east end of the village. What? That's not a dead end. Isn't that right? The butcher was killing pigs with a fierce aura. Grandma Rabbit forced her to dream for his wife, but she was still killed. Yua shook her head, it's not easy to get involved in this kind of thing. However, in the next few days, Yua began to play the game of guessing with Qingyu. Yua could understand what Qingyu said, but Qingyu couldn't understand Fox language. In the end, Linu also joined in. When everyone didn't understand, it turned into a conversation between chickens and ducks, causing the fox king and his wife to watch the excitement from the side. Suddenly, she heard a commotion coming from outside, and the three of them quieted down and looked at the fox king in unison. Linu and Qingyu, both of you land and sky, go and explore. Yes. Li Nu and Qingyu turned around, transformed into prototypes, and headed straight outside. But as soon as the moon hung high in the sky, Yu Er clearly had no patience and began to wander around the yard, looking up at the fox king and his wife. 
Don't be impatient, Ewer. You should learn to be calm. Being too restless is not a good thing. The fox king held a cup of tea and didn't look up at Ewer, saying quietly. Ewer, come to my mother's place. Linu and Chinyu may not be back soon. Stay calm. Madam extended her hand to Ewer and gestured for her to sit down next to her. A gust of wind came from the courtyard, accompanied by the chirping of birds. Ewer's buttocks had not yet reached the stool, and her whole body rushed out again. It's Chinyu. Chinyu is back. Ewer had just arrived at the yard when she saw a leopard patterned civet cat quietly running back along the eaves. Sister Linu, Ewer shouted when she saw it. After Li Nu and Qin Yu stood in the courtyard and bowed, Li Nu gestured to Qin Yu to speak first, and Qin Yu nodded. Fox King, Madam, Princess, that's what's going on. As soon as I flew out, I saw a house in the east of the village lit up with lights, and people were coming in and out. I heard a woman crying and a man's roar slightly closer, indicating that she was giving birth. I also communicated with the nearby bird tribe, and it seemed that there was a demon tribe involved. As for the specific situation, I was too big to get close to, so I'm not sure. The fox king listened while tapping on the table with his hand, thinking about something. Li Nu, continue talking. Yes, I went to the door of that house and saw two souls under the eaves, but they were not human and very fierce. Li Nu's words startled you air. You should know that since you were learned about the responsibilities of the mountain god, the land god, and the city god, and her soul lingered, this matter was not a small matter. Just now, what Ching Yu said about the demon race should be a bunch of rabbit spirits, to be precise, a nest of rabbit spirits. However, two of them were eaten by that household, so the child who gave birth tonight had red eyes. And because those two souls never left, that child has been crying ever since they were born. Li Nu said word by word as he inquired. It seems to be the butcher's house at the east end of the village. The princess knows. I only know a little bit. That day, while listening to sparrows chatting, I found out that the butcher's house had caught an old rabbit, the son and grandson of the Jingjia family, and there was nothing I could do to save him. Yuer shook her head as she spoke. Are we going to intervene and help that rabbit spirit? Madam said and intervened. It's not easy to intervene, said Fox King and Ewer in unison. This rabbit, both its children and grandchildren have been eaten, why not intervene? We need help. Madam still wanted to lend a hand for the sake of being a member of the demon tribe. Ewer, what should you do? The Fox King looked at Ewer and wanted to consider her. I took Li Nu and Qin Yu to the Tuti temple and informed the land god of the whole matter. The land god came forward to resolve this matter. You are, you're thinking well. But you forgot one thing. The butcher's evil energy is extremely strong. So, those two little rabbit spirits didn't dodge and harbored resentment. And the land god probably didn't want to manage it, but couldn't manage it. That's right. Even gods and ghosts fear evil people. So we still need to intervene in this matter, Ewer looked at the fox king. Yes, it's not easy to intervene, but you have to intervene. The fox king touched his forehead. 